I spent some time in Korea a year ago and I actually got to go to a Korean wedding and that was really interesting for me just comparing the cultures and just the culture of marriage and like what it means nowadays to be young and unmarried. You always tell me that I'm more Korean than you. My father um, had enough insight and wisdom at such a young age to follow her heart. My, when she met my father, they fell in love and married my father and her mother said, if you walk away, don't turn back because nobody will be, will be here when you turn around. And she didn't talk to her family for a long time. I'm very American and very open and um, I don't think I fit the mold of a Korean bride. Tomorrow um, I will be the matron of honor. Um, I'll be wearing my hanbok. Korean um, traditional dress. Two of my nieces, they will be in hanbok as well, and it's going to be just a beautiful, colorful ceremony. I didn't really understand how you could be married in 50, sta <laughs> 50 states to a cow or other things. Um, so as well, I went on the um, Melinda Took Me To website, and that was um, very fun to see. And Morgan was very ecstatic about being in the Korean wedding. She was so excited. She told her whole first grade class that she was going to be in the Korean wedding. Maria, the Korean bride's wedding. Well, I was volunteering at St. Michael's Church. And I actually put through your call to Father Lucas. Get a clearance from your congregation and everyone on board. Well, for form's sake, I wanted to ask my bishop. I also wanted to ask the cathedral dean, who is my direct supervisor. Um, both gave enthusiastic yeses. However, I was going to be representing the cathedral at which I work, so I just wanted to clear it. But um, it was not a problem at all. Hey, beloved. We have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Will all of you witnessing these promises do all in your power to uphold these two persons in their marriage? We will. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. In steadfast love, they may honor and keep the promises and vows they make through Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is perfected in us. I believe the groom has a few words he would like to say to Maria, the Korean bride. Maria? We met in the first quarter, and by the end of halftime, I knew that you were the one for me. This table rock and that Broncos stadium will always be symbols of my love for you. The potato and the Boise State football, please. Thank you. Thank you. Bless, O oh Lord, this potato and this football to be a sign of the vows by which this man and this woman have bound themselves to each other. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 And together let us pray in the words our Savior himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We may greet each other with a sign of peace. I love Idaho. I, Idaho is a, a beautiful state uh, with great open spaces, amazing wilderness, fabulous people. Uh, even though we had a Boise State themed wedding today, I happen to have uh, gone to University of Idaho up north. So I had to get that in in the wedding. When your daughter told you that there's this Korean girl traveling cross country doing this project, what, what was your reaction on the matter? I just thought it's that's a, kind of a little odd, odd. <laughs> <laughs> and interesting. These days, uh, international marriage is not a big deal, but about 30 years ago, it was a big deal. My mother didn't worry about that much because she always, first thing she does is 
something happened, she goes the fortune teller. Okay, this case, what are we gonna do? My daughter gonna marry American, and the fortune teller told her, well, that's good for her. She got to marry that, <laughs> go marry in somebody far from far away. Going a far away from home is better luck for me. So she was okay with it. I wanted to bring this to you because it is a local beer brewed by a company called Table Rock. And as you can see here on the label, Table Rock Mountain is where we were married, which is a very special place for both of us. We don't see the white cross like we did in the, in the wedding, but this is a, a special brew called Hopzilla. And I brought this over for the wedding reception because I thought it would be appropriate.